Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have an update for you guys who want to be jailbroken but are not yet jailbroken if you guys have accidentally or lost your guys' jailbreak on iOS 10.2. So with that being said guys, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so this is going to be a very quick video since a lot of you guys are asking when the jailbreak is going to be released, what news is regarding the next jailbreak, and so on. So I'm just going to compile a really short video on basically a TLDR of everything that's going on. So if we go ahead and fire up the subreddit right here, there has not been a lot of things regarding the next jailbreak, any developers discussing about it, just a lot of things regarding extra recipe as well as the jailbreak for previous iOS versions for the iPhone 7. But other than that, nothing has been discussed for iOS. 10.3.1, 10.3.2, or iOS 11 regarding a complete jailbreak or any type of signs that there might be a jailbreak release. But I do recommend for you guys doing is to go ahead and download the IPSW of iOS 10.3.1 right here since it is currently being signed as of making this video. And if you guys are not jailbroken, go ahead and download and update to iOS 10.3.1 while it's being signed without SHSH blobs. So with that being said go ahead and do that right now if you guys are watching this video and are not jailbroken this is the most chance that you will get if you are jailbroken because if Apple stops signing their service for 10.3.1 then you guys will already be on there and if a jailbreak is released you are on the latest version that is currently being signed that is the lowest now with that being said if a jailbreak is out for 10.3.2 or iOS 11 then you guys can just seamlessly update to those particular versions regarding the next jailbreak also I forgot to also mention in the last videos that iOS 10.3.3 beta 3 has just been released and is still in beta so we have two betas going on for iOS 10.3.3 as well as iOS 11 but regarding the jailbreak, go ahead and downgrade or upgrade to iOS 10.3.1 if you guys are not jailbroken on 10.2 or 10.1.1. So the next thing that I want to talk about regarding 10.3.1 is a YouTuber right here by the name of Brandon. He had tweeted this out saying, if you are on iOS 11 beta 1 and want a jailbreak in the future, get back to iOS 10.3.1 ASAP. It could stop being signed today, which is basically what I already said and the developers of unlimited apps, which makes the plus plus tweaks that we all use for Snapchat, Instagram, and so on. They retweeted from this guy. So basically is saying that he might have the right idea for downgrading back to 10.3.1. And I also do and agree with Brandon. So if you guys are not yet jailbroken on 10.2.1 or above, like I said, if you guys are not jailbroken, go ahead and update or downgrade back to 10.3.1. Can't stress that enough. Go ahead and do that and save your guys' SHSH blobs for the two iOS versions that are being signed, which are 10.3.2 as well as 10.3.1. I would stay away from iOS 11 for right now and just watch videos regarding it from other YouTubers as well as myself to just get news regarding the iOS 11 update. So with that being said guys, it's pretty much a quick update video for you guys. I just wanna go ahead and update what is going on in the jailbreak scene. And also, I forgot to also mention that Mosec is coming up too. And if you guys are not yet known or have been on this channel for a while, Mosec is a conference that Pangu is at all the time. And I'll go ahead and get coverage on that if any articles are released with any news regarding the next jailbreak thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video go ahead and leave a like down below also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future as well as follow me on my twitter page and my facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and what's been going on in the jailbreak world so i see you guys in the next one this is elite apple hacks signing out